Welcome back to Bransford and this week's Looking Good list. So we're moving into February now, um, back down here in the glass house we've put a new Hebe online this week. Um, I say new, but it's one of the oldest ones we've grown here at Bransford. Hebe Rosie, um, one of the original promotional Hebe's that Bransford launched many, many moons ago now. Um, so Hebe Rosie, it's lovely compact in its habit, like all our Hebe's grown in a two litre pot. And it's got this lovely sort of burgundy, um, sort of smoky red tips to the new growth as well in there. No flower really in the crop yet, it's just foliage interest. But it's looking really nice and that's online and ready for delivery next week into gardens. Look that back down there. And while we're talking about Hebe's, um, last week I think I showed you Silver Dollar which had been in the car for a couple of weeks and lost quite a bit of its colour. So I just picked this one fresh off the bed, about five beds behind me here. Um, and Silver Dollar, lovely variegated um, plant, so it's got a lovely creamy yellow margin to the edge of the leaf and the pink tips. And last week the plant I showed you had lost a lot of its colour. It needs the cool nights we've got this time of year, so it really is a good spring interest plant. We've got cool nights and it pinks up and on its tips. Just pull this hellebore out to show you how to the range of one litre Harvington hybrids that um, we're growing this year. So this is white speckled. And it just keeps standing out every time I walk past it on the nursery. It's got this lovely sort of white um, flower with these lovely painted almost red in, um, centre to it. It does look like someone's just painted that plant, so that's looking lovely. In a one litre spec, so we've got a one litre and a two litre spec on all our Harvington hybrid varieties. And then if you want something to really stand out and a splash of colour uh, from a shrubby plant in the plant area at this time of year, you can't beat Vink Illuminations. Lovely golden centre, dark green margin to the leaf which really sets the golden centre off. And although these have been grown outside, or almost outside, it's under a low tunnel um, in the cold, they've got plenty of bud and flower on them as well, and more following through. So that really will brighten up a plant area bench or front of the border container in someone's garden. And I've also actually seen those grown in a hanging basket this time of year and they look fantastic when they just trail down in there. Geranium chocolate candy, I thought I'd show you again this week. We had it on last week. It's got this lovely dusky um, foliage, dark foliage on there. And it's been selling well over the last week. So it's a lovely pot full, two litre spec again. Um, just really nice dark foliage and contrasts well to anything that's silver, something like the Helichrysum and Corma, or something like our um, Escalonia Gold Brian as well, that it'll contrast really well to. So something new online this week, our Enemy Harmony series have gone online. So I've got four colours in this, all in a two litre spec. I think for an early flowering plant, um, perennial border plant, you can't beat the value for money. I had the blue um, strain of this in the garden last year and it continued flowering through well into late June, early July. Just kept deadheading it, it just kept throwing up more and more flowers. You can see a flower open now, loads more in the crown starting to come through as well. So that will just give you loads of enjoyment either in a container, front of the border, in anybody's garden, and also sell well on the plant area. It's a nice impulse pickup. Pulmonary blue enzyme, um, getting quite far into this crop now, but still plenty of bud on there. Uh, still going out well, so I thought I'd just show you one last chance before the crop went. Um, great, again, great colour at this time of year, not much in that sort of bluey colour in the plant area. So something different and really draw people's attention to it and hopefully pick up some impulse sales on those. And last but not least, rhubarb Timply Early. So, we put Timply Early online, we've also got three other varieties um, this year. We've got Victoria, Champagne and Raspberry Red. Um, Timply Early, as its name suggests, is the earliest variety and it's probably further ahead than any of the others. The others are just starting to come to life, um, so if you want those as well, no problem, just speak to your sales rep and they'll get those put on your order as well. So that's it for this week, a little bit more sun hopefully in between the showers this week and we'll get um, a few more crops online for delivery sort of mid-February. Till then, see you next week.